Hello Cancer, Cancer Rising, and Cancer Moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting October 23rd, 2017. And a quick reminder for all of you Cancerians out there, remember if you ever want to get a session with me, you do need to go to my website, integrativemysticism.com, and just follow the links below. And your monthly astrology horoscopes for November are up, so you can check those out as well. So what's going on with your astrology this week anyway? This week is full of really interesting stuff, especially at the end of the week. On Thursday, we've got the sun in Scorpio in your fifth house of love and romance and relationships with children, forming a gorgeous conjunction with Jupiter in that same sign. Whenever the sun and Jupiter come together, we have a huge lucky break. You know, things tend to go very much in our favor. Um, when it comes to anything that we're doing with a creative project, again, um, dating or, you know, relationships, romance, or even again, you know, maybe we're trying to have children or reconnect with our children. All of it is a huge stroke of luck. Um, there actually is an opportunity to expand on something, you know, a pastime or perhaps an activity or again, a, a relationship that you want to have more of that time with. This can also be a lucky break when it comes to perhaps actually meeting somebody brand new and you're not necessarily expecting to do it, you know, if you give it that try. You know, with Jupiter, you know, conjunct the Sun, we tend to see actually an unexpected payoff from an unexpected place. Jupiter conjunct the Sun here can also indicate a payoff in terms of a creative project you are working on, something that may you may not have thought would have had any, or maybe not much, monetary value could actually put, be worth a hell of a lot more once the product is finished and it's all by your hands, and you may actually find out about an opportunity to do something with that. Jupiter conjunct the Sun is one of those uh, very, very interesting kinds of aspects. It does happen once a year. Um, it's considered one of the luckiest days of the year, and so if you are trying to either push your luck, which I don't recommend, or you are simply trying to, again, get any kind of activity off the ground when it comes to kids, uh, relationships, anything along those lines, again, that luck will be expanded upon with a, with, a, with a bigger payoff than you could have expected. On Friday, got some interesting going on. Um, we've got Mercury, planet of communication, haste and speed in that fifth house of love and romance, forming a sextile to Pluto, currently in your partnership sector, your closest one-on-one -on -one relationships, that's your boyfriend, girlfriend, BFF, business partner, husband, wife, um, all of those people. And it does look like there could be a crystallizing of a partnership or something kind of set in stone, which is really, really nice. But at the same time, we've also got Venus in your fourth house of home, family, um, the domicile forming a square to this area as well. Um, and there could be a conflict or a clash going on. While we have uh, some kind of partnership, some kind of commitment getting uh, cemented, uh, whether it's a business one or a romantic one, um, I'm not quite sure, um, but it does seem to be creating a clash at home. Now, it may not create a clash in a personal way. It could just be creating a clash in a schedule way, in an availability way. Uh, we want to make sure that nobody's getting thrown under the bus for the sake of another, we're going to have to try and make both things work, or at least keep all informed. Don't get sucked into the euphoria uh, of one or the other, okay? So what's going on with your cards this week? Well, for your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the Sow. Now, the Sow is an interesting card because it, it asks us to look outside of ourselves and to observe people in our space um, and to see who among the friends, the relatives, lover, kids, co-workers, whatever, who is sort of the giver or the nurturer that may not necessarily be getting much back. Um, and he or she does need to actually, they, they're the ones in need of care this week. Um, and it's a very important card because what it can also do is it can kind of, you know, tell us a little bit about how to form relationships with more, with more capable people but also how gratitude and action keeps good luck coming our way, keeps good treatment coming our way. You know, gratitude and esteem is not the same in gratitude and action. You know, thank you versus giving back, there's a very big difference there. And this week, it's all about paying attention to sort of an unsung hero in your space. Yes, I don't think we should need it, but yes, often enough, this does also indicate getting more favor from this person, um, creating a stronger relationship, and maybe getting more out of them. That should not be what motivates you. 
but there is that there as well. Um, but the Sal card is talking about a need to pay attention to, again, there may be actually a pillar of your community or of your circle or of your family that may not necessarily be able to stay that pillar anymore if they're not being taken care of. And it's not like guilt tripping you or anything like that. It's just basically saying, look, you're the one who's going to pay attention, so go pay attention. For your earth sector, when it comes to work and finances, we've got the high priestess upright. Um, excellent card here, especially if you've been looking for some kind of outside help or some backup. High priestess often indicates some kind of third party interference in your favor. Those of you who are looking for a new job may have somebody playing the role of matchmaker when it comes to actually hooking you up. This could be a friend, um, this could be a payoff from a recruiter. The High Priestess can often show up as somebody who is making a very, very correct decision on your behalf according to your specifications. So this could actually be somebody who is hooking you up with the ideal job or the ideal situation you can nab in a heartbeat. For those of you who are not thinking about looking for work, the High Priestess still can indicate somebody going out and correctly and very, very effectively working on your behalf with a payoff that they're giving as a gift to you. Um, this can indicate somebody hooking you up with a better project or perhaps actually putting a good word in for you with an unexpected reward or unexpected um, payoff. Again, we've got lots of, the, lots of words around payoff this week for a lot of people with that Jupiter energy. So enjoy it, but don't forget to thank him or her as well. <laughs> Free communications with air when it comes to your friends, your relatives, the others in your life. We've got the Nine of Swords upright. Um, there could be some issues going on with a friend or a relative. Um, I, I see them, you know, I, I, I'm kind of, usually I don't get this from this card, but I'm actually getting guilt from him or her. Um, and they're confiding this in you. They're confiding this guilt and this anxiety in you this week. And I'm wondering if perhaps... Um, when it comes to this friend or it comes to this relative, that they may be confessing something that uh, they did that they're not ready to come forward with, but it's sort of eating them alive from the outside, from the inside. Um, this might be a tough thing for you know for you to handle because it does look like he or she has done something ethically questionable. Um, how can you support somebody when they do that? Well, it's you know it's about knowing that we're going to solve the problem as well. Um, this is not a situation where, you know, where, where this is like a sign that this is a bad person and we need to throw them away. No. People make mistakes. And this week you may have a situation, though, where you can't do black and white thinking because somebody close to you may have made a big mistake. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. That could be them. <laughs> this could be them. Uh, Queen of Pentacles reversed, we do often have a problem with uh, a person that, honestly, let's just say can't adult. Sometimes we see this with the Queen of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody who does not um, know how to be responsible when it comes to resources or relationships. Um, I'm getting female, again, most likely at least, I'm holding a queen. Um, an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, or somebody with those qualities. And with the Queen of Pentacles reversed, we could indicate, uh, it could show maybe somebody who's, you know, messed up um, in terms of their money. They, maybe they were given a responsibility that was way too heavy, that they, they, they were wrong for the job and somebody set them up. Sometimes that can happen the Queen of Pentacles reverse. If we just bet on the wrong horse, you know the horse is going to lose anyway. And the Queen of Pentacles reverse is saying your challenge is how do we handle her? How do we handle this? Do we continue giving them the bigger responsibilities they can't do? Or do we acknowledge the fact that maybe this is we have to learn to relate to this person a different way? Um, and that can be a tough thing to do if they're very, very close to you. Because if this is a roommate, or if this is a relative, or if this is a boss, you know, that's not an easy thing to do. It's not the same as, say, scolding one of your kids, or, you know, or having a sit down with your partner. This is somebody that's kind of involved, you know, has their, their hands in many, many situations. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we have the sun card upright. Well, love's fine. We already knew love was fine, but confirmation love is fine. In fact, the sun card upright can indicate a beautiful week when it comes to love and romance because we're kind of reigniting a bit of a little honeymoon phase uh, or almost like a little puppy love phase uh, between you and somebody uh, special. In fact, the sun card upright can indicate that there may be somebody younger than you that you might actually um, develop a bit of a chemistry with, but with the sun card upright, the focus is on wholesome simplicity with any kind of relationship. You know, we're taking all the complicated dramas and the expectations and the Disney mind, 
I almost said, <laughs> I almost used the F word, you know, but the Disney brainwashing and all of that kind of stuff. We're taking that off the table uh, this week, and we're kind of focusing again on a wholesome simplicity in our love and in our romance, you know, where it's like the act of bonding is going to be better here. You know, bringing in more fun, bringing in more play, and our partner is going to be interested in that more as well. I think nowadays relationships give off the delusion of being more glamorous, the more screwed up they are. And with the, you know, with the, with the sun card upright, we're seeing that, no, it doesn't have to be that way. In fact, you and your partner are going to be on cloud nine. Um, you may even find a crush that you may even think is almost, uh, let's just say, a, a very, very pure in, in a very kind of, you know, kind of wholesome-y kind of way. Um, it, it's, it's very, very cute. The energy I'm getting is that it's very, very, it's a, it's a very sweet, very cute kind of wholesome energy that you're meant to kind of actually take into your life. Um, so just consider it, even if all you do is keep them as a friend. You know, we all need those people. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.